because if I come back to here, involving adding bromine and OH group, who is the electrophile? Bromine is the electrophile. This is the E+. Plus. So what we do is we consider, okay, bromine joined to the carbon with more hydrogen. This will give me the major product. And problem solved. So let us try to apply this here. But of course, there's a problem. Huh? Instinctively, when you look at this alkene, they realize that we have a problem because if I consider the carbon on the left-hand side, this carbon only has one hydrogen. The carbon on the right-hand side also has only one hydrogen. So what if you have a scenario where my alkene carbons have the same number of hydrogen? And you realize that the limitation, uh, the limitation of Makhnikov rule hinges on what? Hinges on my alkene carbon must have different number of hydrogen. Hydrogen joined to the carbon with more hydrogen. So two alkene carbon, one must have more hydrogen than the other carbon. What if I'm a Konikov is electrophile joined to the carbon with more hydrogen? Again, it requires my alkene carbons to have different number of hydrogen. So when we have a scenario like this, both of them have the same number of hydrogen, one hydrogen, one hydrogen, then, then we are stuck, all right? Makhnikov is useless. What if I'm a Konikov is useless? We, we can't use Makhnikov at all to determine the major product. So again, this discussion, it doesn't mean that it is useless. After you say so much, huh? wow, then we cannot use Makhnikov, modify Makhnikov. It's not the case. We actually need this concept because in general, when we consider the electrophilic addition of my alkene, if it happens to be asymmetrical and if it is a major minor product, usually what we will have to consider is Makhnikov. If I'm adding hydrogen systems, HCl, HBr, HOH, then if I'm not adding hydrogen, then I have to consider modify Makhnikov, electrophile joins to the carbon with more hydrogen. So in this case where my alkene has the same number of hydrogen, then how do I determine the major product? So maybe before we discuss this, why is there an obsession involving the major product? Eh? It's because the question only wants one answer. They ask you, you draw me the product when this thing react with bromine water. So if they only want one answer, then when there's a case where you can form more than one product, we need to draw the major product. We are obliged to show the major product. We cannot draw the minor product. That's why there's a, an, an obsession eh, involving this discussion. We're spending so much time here trying to discuss how do I deduce the major product? Why don't I just draw anything that can be formed? You know, Is it okay or not? Actually, not really so. We need to draw the major product. We need to show the product which is more likely formed. So we have to take note of that. Eh? We have to uh, consider that. So when we have things like this where my alkene carbons have the same number of hydrogen, then of course we cannot use Makhnikov rule. The question actually is obliged. Huh? They will have to give me this instance. One of my alkene carbon has to be attached to benzene. And let us try to draw the mechanism and actually show the carbocation in order for us to appreciate this. So if I consider my alkene here, it's just a simplified version involving the question. So under benzene, there's supposed to be an OH group, but we remove that. It's not really necessary. And the other group, the CH2OH group, I just write it as an R group to make it simple. So my alkene here, as mentioned, one carbon is attached to benzene, the other carbon is attached to a normal R group. And when I consider the electrophilic addition mechanism, same thing, first thing, you will react with your Br2. So the electrophile, the bromine will go in first. Huh? Then this bromine can join to either the carbon on the left-hand side or the carbon on the right-hand side. Then the bromine-bromine bond breaks kick out a Br-. minus. So these are the two carbocations that can be formed. And you notice this C plus on the left-hand side is attached directly to benzene. The other carbocation is not directly attached to benzene. So if you have this awareness involving resonance stability, then hopefully we will realize that, oh, if my carbocation is directly attached to benzene, then actually it can be stabilized by resonance. And so therefore this guy will be significantly more stable. Again, we need to develop this awareness involving resonance stability. Eh? Resonance stability involving benzene, it is a big deal. It is significantly more stable than the normal donating withdrawing effect, stabilizing effect of a normal donating and withdrawing group. So if it is stabilized by resonance, then it will be stabilized to a very significant extent. I think this idea is important. We need to have a awareness involving this. Anything directly attached to benzene will be stabilized by resonance to a very significant extent. So I have a C plus next to benzene. Basically, the diagram is here. It can use the empty PZ orbital 
to interact with the delocalized pipe system. Again, usually how I like to view this is your delocalized pipe system is like your overhead shelter. So if you are being sheltered by this delocalized pipe system, it will protect you. It's just like a shelter, huh? protect you from the sun, protect you from the rain. So if overhead you have this delocalized pipe system, then you'll be protected by resonance. You'll be stabilized by resonance. So all my six carbon in benzene, you notice on top there's this overhead shelter of delocalized pipe system. All the six carbon in benzene all protected by resonance, all stabilized by resonance. So now this C plus use the empty PZ orbital. I don't have electron in the PZ orbital, but the space is there. So benzene, your electron come to me. Now you can interact with me, then your electrons can run around a bigger area. So the delocalized electrons actually will go to your C plus. And now you notice uh, this C plus on top of it also has this delocalized pi system. So basically the electrons now will run around my six carbon, go out to your C plus and then go back into benzene. So this shelter is extended to your C plus. C plus now is also protected by this shelter, also protected by resonance. All right, so it is stabilized by resonance and resonance stability is significantly more stable than normal donating withdrawing groups. If you're not aware of it, you just take note of this. There are plenty of opportunities for us to reinforce this. Many, many opportunities for us to, to do that. Things directly attached to benzene, the reactivity is very different. Anyway, for this functional group that we have done, eh, we already have an example. When you have an OH group attached to benzene, the CO bond is stabilized by resonance. So there's no substitution, no elimination reaction. So the reactivity involving phenol, OH group attached to benzene versus normal alcohol, OH group attached to a normal R group, the reactivity is very different, all right, because of resonance stability. So we want to develop this awareness. Things attached to benzene, something special is going on there. So we have to take note of it, give it a little bit more attention, all right? So we have to develop this awareness. And I know that C plus is stabilized by resonance. So if I compare these two guys, uh, the other carbocation don't have this resonance stability. So this C plus which is next to benzene, significantly more stable, significantly more likely formed, this guy will be the major product. This is the reason why when we have things like this, huh, where Makonikov is like totally useless, where both of my alkene carbon has the same number of hydrogen, question is obliged, or they have to give me, one of the carbon is attached to benzene. Cannot be both R group, because if both of them are normal R groups, then we cannot really tell which carbocation is more stable. We really can't tell. All right? So... If I know this is the C+, plus, then later OH group will join to this C+, plus and finish. We can deduce the major product.